Hello! In this video we are going to learn how to tune the pave spike targeting pod to a known position. The pave spike is not connected to the navigation system but can be caged to the WRCS target by using the WRCS acquisition mode. The WRCS supports entering target positions by means of an offset to a known position called the identification point or short IP. The IP is the current aircraft position or a point on the radar screen and can be designated using the freeze button. North, minus 5 or 800 feet, west, 80400 feet, at 1200 feet. After hitting freeze, the offset position can be entered on the WRCS panel and confirmed using the insert button. Once inserted, the targeting pod will slew itself onto the current WRCS target. From there, enter track mode using half action on the trigger to slew the camera around. Offset coordinates can also be obtained easily via the map tools in DCS. Therefore, Freeze the current position and measure the direct distance and angle to the target. Enter the data into the bombing computer to receive the position in the correct format. Then punch the offset into the WRCS panel and hit insert. It is also possible to find the offset using the radar. Put the radar into a map PPI mode and move the offset cursor onto the target. Hit freeze and insert to confirm the position. While not directly connected to the navigation system, it is still possible to cue the pod roughly onto a turn point by combining the radar and the BDHI. First, enter the target coordinates as turn point. Then, set the radar offset cursor onto the distance and azimuth shown on the BDHI. While not accurate, this method allows getting the camera at least roughly into the target area. Alright, that's it for today. Happy flying!